Hello, in this video I'm going to replace the idle air control valve on this 2000 Acura TL. The idle air control valve on this model is located underneath the throttle body. Removing the other connections from the other sensors can help in the removal process of the idle air control valve. Two screws are holding down the valve and the coolant hose is attached to the valve. Once the two screws and coolant hose are loosened and detached, the IACV will be able to come out from underneath the throttle body. The idle air control valve is in a tight space. So I used an angle ratchet Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws. The two screws are located on opposite corners of the part. Here's the coolant hose I mentioned earlier. You don't need to drain the coolant to remove this part. Just as soon as the hose is removed, just simply plug it with something and it should be okay. Maybe also put some towels underneath the area to prevent anything from getting wet. Like I mentioned earlier, the part is in a tight space, but with a little bit of wiggling, the part should be able to come out without any problems. There is a gasket that is used, so don't forget to remove this gasket. I wiped down the throttle body's surface before I installed the new part. So installing the new gasket can be a little tricky. I used one hand to hold down the gasket and I used the other hand to install the part. I continued to hold down the part until I could screw in the screws. I initially hand tightened the screws, then tightened the screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Once the part is installed, 
Just reconnect everything back. Reconnect the coolant hose and connectors for the other sensors. I was getting a P0505 and P01519 check engine light code. Before replacing the idle air control valve, I did some troubleshooting such as checking for voltage and continuity from the connector and found that voltage and continuity were present. Pin 2 on the connector is where voltage should be present. Pins 1 and 3 is where there should be continuity, which there was. I also checked the idle air control valve and checked the resistance among the pins. I checked the pins 1 and 2 and then checked pins 2 and 3 on the non-functional valve. The ohms for the known good idle air control valve is about 2.0 to 2.2 ohms on pins 1 and 2. Resistance for pins 2 and 3 are about 18.8 .8 to 20 ohms. I also checked the ohms for the known bad idle air control valve. The ohms were 1.9 ohms for pins 1 and 2 and 2.0 to 2.1 ohms for pins 2 and 3. I could not find the ohm specs in the service manual so for your reference I put the ohm specs for the known good idle air control valve in the description below just in case if you are performing a similar repair and in case you need this information. Now comparing the two idle air control valves resistance measurements one can see that there are obvious differences. This led me to replace the idle air control valve. There are additional checks such as checking the wiring harness and connector even more but I decided to just continue and replace the idle air control valve without doing any further checks. I felt the resistance of the idle air control valve is what made me a little more confident that the idle air control valve was faulty and concluded that the wiring in the car is not the issue here. I also did tests on the valves by applying power to the idle air control valve. I do want to mention that this is also the second valve being replaced. I had to replace this twice because the first replacement valve was still producing check engine light codes P0505. The original valve was obviously not functional because the mechanical shaft within the valve was clearly not functioning properly. For the faulty replacement valve, I noticed that the idle air control valve shaft was properly functioning but only the ohms measurements specs were different. Thanks again so much for watching. And I hope that you find this video helpful. Just as a reminder, I put the ohm specs for the idle air control valve in the description below. I also put the part number of the idle air control valve in the description as well.